No one wants to spend their last days on their own. That's why the effect of COVID-19 over the elderly was so heartbreaking. Uh, they are at high risk and they need to be isolated, but we find a safe way to spend time with them, watch them and listen to them. Everyone is deprived of closure. Uh, kids lose parents and can't say goodbye. People are buried on their own with nobody there. It's a story that makes us stop and think what is happening to all of us beyond age, religion, nationality or class. Afghanistan is one of the world's largest producers of heroin and it also has a huge problem of addiction. In this photo, these men are waiting to have their head shaved after a Taliban forcibly took them from the streets and locked them up at a former military base now used for treatment of drug users. We all knew of the US and its allies' plan to withdraw from Afghanistan but I think everyone was surprised on how quickly the Taliban took control of the entire country, capturing all major cities uh, in a matter of days and reaching Kabul while foreign troops were still on the ground. A P photographers around the world covered floods, fires, drought and starvation last year and it is clear that climate change and global warming are contributing to some of those catastrophes. Following a tip of a colleague, I went to the region near Frankfurt that was flooded since a couple of days due to heavy rainfalls. I started my drone, flew about 500 meters over flooded fields and reached the railroad crossing. I waited for a train to come, shot exactly one frame and flew back because the battery was low. We're in the midst of the presidential vote count, the Electoral College, when police start shouting at lawmakers that the Capitol has been breached. There's tear gas in the rotunda. Glass breaks in the main door to the House chamber. That's the very door where the president enters for the State of the Union speech every year. The agents are aiming their guns through the shattered window, so I steadied my telephoto zoom on that door where I can hear the growl of the mob. Then there's an eye, one of the rioters trying to see inside. What he does not see are the pistols inches from his face. The job of the photojournalist, really the responsibility is to show people what they cannot see on their own. And to do that, we have to be there. Every night, smugglers would bring families across the Rio Grande River and leave them to their fate. There were so many children, all with expressions of fright. Some celebrated when they landed in what they thought of as the promised land, not knowing Border Patrol agents were waiting just yards away.
After years of covering stories on migration and human trafficking along the Mexico-U.S. border, I keep thinking that any of us could potentially become migrants, refugees, or asylum seekers, be it because of natural disasters, climate change, civil war, or so many other reasons. 